Okay, so let's look at automating that compilation and restarting the server whenever we make a change to the code. When we compile our script, we can put in an extra flag called watch, like so. So we've set our project here, source server, and this little extra option here, W, that means watch. If I go down here, watch, run the compiler in watch mode. Watch input files and trigger recompilation on changes. Let's try that out. Okay, so starting compilation in watch mode. Found no errors. If I was to make a change to this script, say, change the case of port there, it has recompiled my file. I don't want to put a full stop after there. Recompiled my file again. So, or if I added another method, you know, for, for example, I don't have to keep typing in TSC to recompile anymore. But the one problem here is my uh, console's now been taken control of by this watch switch. So behind my head here, we can add another console window, split the terminal. There we go. Another one just there. And in this one, I'll run the socket server using node. So node dist server server.js there we go and server listing on port 3000 we still have a problem here if i was to make a change and press control list to save it would recompile but the server here hasn't got the latest change so let's have a look at that i'll change that to capital p like server listing on port it's recompiled but the server doesn't have the update unless i press control c to stop it and restart it, it's now got a capital P. We can automate that restarting of Node.js as well by using a program called Nodemon. Okay, so we should install Nodemon. So that will be npm install save dev Nodemon. Now what I'm doing here is this switch will save it into the package JSON into development dependencies which gives us the option of excluding it if we want to deploy it to a live server so we don't need nodemon on a live server so just in during development so npm install save dev nodemon excellent so it's created a new dev dependencies nodemon in our package json so now if i was to instead of running node dist server server js i'll change that to node mon like so dist server server js and it's running node just like before the server listening on port 3000 and if i was to make a change to the code for example let's set that to lowercase p again press save it's recompiled and also restarted the node server because it's using Nodemon. I'll show you again, I'll set that to capital P. Okay, so it's recompiled and also restarted the server. Yeah, that's using TSC with the watch switch and also using Nodemon, which is also detecting for the changes to server.js. Now still, opening up two windows like this is a little bit of a pain. I mean, might not be, but there is a way we can make that easier as well by creating a command here in package.json which will run these two processes in the background for us. So to do that, we'll need a new package. Well, first I'll just stop these and bin that one and stop that one. We'll need a new package called concurrently and we'll also install that as a development dependency. So npm install save dev concurrently okay so that's created a new dependency in our dev dependencies called concurrently and that is a command line command where we can pass in extra commands and to use that what we do is up here in scripts we'll create a new one called dev colon to string it'll be concurrently kill k means kill any existing processes and then we now add our commands for say tsc project source server watch and also 
nodemon dist server server js and note that they're in double quotes here and they've been escaped so that is con concurrently kill all processes at the same time we'll run tsc project in watch mode and nodemon server.js press s to save and to run that script a bit like what we did with when we did the test we type npm run dev like so and it's now doing both of those things in one console window server listening on port 3000 so if i was to change this to a lowercase p control s it has recompiled and restarted node there we go so server listening on port with lowercase that's using ts watch node mon and concurrently that's quite a common process in a lot of typescript projects you might come across it's all optional but it just makes it a little bit easier the next section we'll actually create a client now a client script and then connect the client and the servers using sockets 